another heir to our fortune. Can anyone please explain to me why our vacation is canceled? Vanessa, something very important happened. The birth of your sister. I hate babies. I want to go to the Bahamas. Excuse me, nurse. Can you please take care of our baby? We have to go on vacation now. Thank you, daddy. Later, loser baby. I have so much energy. Look at me go. Please, can I have a refill? Hey, so you got to pay for that coffee? Brett, do you mind spotting me real quick? For you? Anything. Here you go. Perfect. Thanks, Brett. Here's a tip, too, <laughs> for dealing with us. Now, Soph, uh, let's take a seat. You won't believe it. I got rose colored that jacket. What are you two doing? Hey, Vanessa. I I'm just hanging out with Soph. You think you can just hang out with people like this? I can hear you. You know, whatever. Brittany, you spend your time with losers. I'm gonna go order a coffee. Um, hello. Can I please have a venti mocha frappuccino with three pumps of non-fat milk right now? Of course. I'll, I'll get right on it. Yeah, thanks. Here you go, and don't keep the change. Uh, okay. <laughs> thanks for coming. It's so embarrassing. My sister is so rude to, like, everyone. I don't Get it. Um, Brittany, can I talk to you outside immediately? Yeah, sure. What's up? It's something important that I can't say in front of stupid poor people like Sophie. What's the problem, Vanessa? How can you throw away our family's money like that for your poor friend? And you tipped the barista? Ew! I don't see the big deal. I was helping my friend. And Mike works super hard. You shouldn't even be friends with Sophie to begin with. She's poor and beneath us. And she's just using you for money. That's not true at all. You don't even know Sophie. Why don't you just go home? I'm gonna tell mom and dad what you just did. And you're gonna regret it. Brittany, get down here. Hi, mom. Is everything okay? I just heard something a little upsetting from your sister. Brittany's just throwing money away on poor people. Mom, it's really not a big deal. I was just buying Sophia coffee. That is not what I heard. Vanessa, what did you even tell mom? She told me that you bought your friend a Lamborghini. No, it was just a coffee. I wouldn't just buy her a car without asking you guys. That's a lot of money. Excuse me, ladies, lunch is ready. Let's continue this chat in the dining room. Vanessa, I don't understand why you're lying to mom. I don't exactly think that Brittany should be throwing away our hard-earned money on people who don't deserve it. Dad would be super upset if he knew. He'd be super upset if he knew about your bad attitude. Girls, please, please, enough of this. Oh, mom, you're so annoying. I'm out of here. Girl, you won't believe it. My mom's always siding with Brittany, and she's gonna get half of my inheritance now. I hate her. Oh my god, you should totally get rid of her so you can have the money. That is an amazing idea. I need to get rid of my sister. Sophie, that's the best sandcastle I've ever seen you build. Thanks. I've really been working on my skills. It is such a beautiful day. Oh, I just, oh wait. Oh, did I kick that over? Oh my hard work. What is your problem? To make things better, how about I take you and I'll buy you some ice cream? Now, come on. I'm gonna ask Vanessa if she wants any ice cream. We're thinking about grabbing some ice cream. Do you want some? Ew, from Ben's ice cream? Yeah, right, disgusting. Now get out of the sunlight. You're blocking my tan. Whatever, suit yourself. Come on, Soph. Somebody, please help me. I'm poor. Excuse me, it, is everything okay? No, nothing's okay. I'm homeless. You should get her some ice cream. No, 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 no. Um, wait, hey, I, I don't need ice cream. Um, I need money. Saying no to ice cream? Are you crazy? Well, like, I know you're a part of the richest family in Bloxburg. Surely you can give me money on top of ice cream. Yeah, sure. I mean, you're in need, so I don't mind helping at all. Here, there's $100. My life has changed forever. Okay, thanks, bye. Something fishy about that. And I don't think it's because we're by the... Beach. I don't know, Soph. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If I can help someone, I'm always gonna do it. Oh my gosh, Brent, I saw what you just did. Ooh, Vanessa! Dad is not gonna be happy when he's home from his business trip. I'm gonna tell him everything. Hold up, is Soph, is she leaving? She's getting in the car and what are we gonna do? I don't know. She drove us to the beach. How about a nice stroll home on the hot pavement, Sophie? Brent? That sounds horrible. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. My dad's been away on business for what feels like forever. Dad, I'm so glad to see you. I wish I could say the same thing. What? You're not 
excited to see me? Especially after what I heard you did earlier. Yes, Brittany. We're very disappointed. What are you talking about? I, I didn't do anything. That is not what your sister said. She said you gave some random homeless person $100,000 and bought them a new house? It's true. I was right there. I saw all of it. But Vanessa's lying. I did not do that. Are you saying that I would lie to the family? How can you even start to say that? Because you are lying. Brittany, I'm afraid I am going to have to cut you off until you learn the value of a dollar. You need to pack your things and leave this house so you can learn a lesson. I've done nothing wrong. You did this to yourself. Whatever, fine. I'll go pack my things. Hey, loser. Have fun living outside. I knew you were behind this. Good luck, being poor. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Oh, hey, Brick. Great to see you. Would you like the usual? Not today. Um, I actually was wondering, is there any way you could maybe hire me? I I'm looking for a job. Why would you need such a thing? You're super rich. Not anymore. My parents cut me off. Well, then of course you can work here. You've always been so kind. Thanks, Mike. You won't regret it. What a long and stressful day. Let me wash my hands real quick. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, no. Look at you. In a uniform and everything. You look like such a loser. Yeah, she totally does. Loser. Is there something I can get you? We're about to close, Vanessa. I'll take a boba tea with extra boba. And, uh, can you break a hundred? No. Where did you even get a hundred bill from? Uh, somewhere. My, my mom and dad give it to me. So you don't want anything then? Are these your tips? I'll be taking this. I worked wicked hard for those. You can't take that. Oh, manager. Is everything all right? Oh, hello, Vanessa. What, what seems to be the problem? I want you to fire this girl. She's refusing to give us service. Brittany, is this true? No, it's not. And she stole all the money from the tip jar. Now she's blaming us? Oh my gosh, like this is a... Total nightmare. Girls, I am so sorry for your experience. Brittany, I'd hate to do this to you, but you're fired. I'm surprised to see you. I've been texting you literally all day. I know. I'm sorry, Soph. I was working. I need to tell you what is going on. Okay, girl. Come on in. You won't believe it. Vanessa got me fired from my job. But I think something's up. First, she got me cut off from all the money from our family, and then she got me fired. Don't worry about it. You don't have to live at that big old fancy house. You can live here. Really? Oh my gosh, this is like a dream come true. But, uh, so where am I gonna stay? We can put a sleeping bag in my room. It'll be like a sleepover forever. Well, honestly, I do think you have a good amount of room in here. Except for we might have to move Mr. Flamingo. No, 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 no. We do not move him. He stays here. He was here first, Brett. Jeez Louise. Okay, okay. Well, now that that's all, what do we do now? I'm gonna eventually have to find a way to fix this madness with your family. I don't even know if it's worth it at this point. I don't want their inheritance. I don't want anything. Maybe except for my mom and dad. I do really miss them. Well, we gotta prove that that evil sister of yours is lying. That's true. But how do we catch someone in a lie? Enough questions. Brett, I have something to show you. So, um, where are we going in? Wait a minute. When did you get a creepy basement? Don't worry about it, Brett. Just come down. It's super dark down here, Soph. What is going on? Turn on the light! I think the switch is over here and whoa! <gasps> what is this place? Welcome to Secret Agent Sophie's investigation room. Whoa! Check this out! When did you have time to make all this? Oh, is that a mini fridge? Why, yes. Yes, it is a mini fridge. So, shouldn't we be working on, you know, this whole family problem thing? Yeah, you're right now. Come on, we need to do some digging. So, so, remember that homeless girl we helped at the pier? I think it was actually Vanessa's friend. I got it. You know what we need, girly? Be you to pay attention when I'm talking to you? Yeah, no, uh, that's not gonna happen. But no, we need a confession from your sister's friend. I know exactly how to get one. Now, Britt, remember, most important thing is just stay quiet. I know, but so I'm so excited you were able to track down Vanessa and Samantha. Who would have thought they'd be right outside the hair salon? Uh, I did. I, I thought that. Do you think you could, like, lend me a couple hundred bucks, Vanessa? Absolutely not. I'm not giving you another dime. But Vanessa, you used to before. Like, what's changed? 
Now that my sister's gone, the money is all mine. Good luck being poor. Maybe get a job or something. I'm Audi. Dove, I can't believe it. I can't believe I also recorded all of that. Oh my gosh, this is the worst day of my- <gasps> Wait a minute. Um, hello? Hey, Samantha. What are you two doing? Oh, uh, you know, we're just spying in on your converse. We heard everything. You were in on this too. It's not my fault. You lost your money. But honestly, I can't believe that Vanessa framed me like that. Well, the only way to get her back is to confess that she's been lying. Yeah, lady. Give a confessional. Turn on your friend. Oh my gosh, I could never do that. What if we give you a hundred bucks? Oh my gosh, a hundred bucks? Yes! And that's the truth. Brittany, I can't believe it. Oh dear, we are so sorry. Vanessa, get out here! Oh, this is gonna be good, guys. Mommy, Daddy, what is it? How could you do that? You lied. No, I didn't. And when did you decide to let poor people in the house? What is she doing here? I thought you were supposed to get lost. Don't you speak to your sister that way. You're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, because Mom and Dad know the truth now. Your little friend, Samantha, confess. And honestly, Vanessa, we are so sick of how spoiled you are. So for you to learn your lesson, we're cutting you off. This is unbelievable. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We are hanging out today in Bluxburg, and I am so excited because you may have noticed I'm, I'm small. Look at me. I am a kid size, and that is because for the first time ever, I have been adopted and by uh, maybe some of the richest parents in Bloxburg. I'm so excited. They seem like the nicest family ever and I've never been adopted before. So I'm really, really happy to see how this goes. I mean, look at this place. It might be because I'm small, but I also think this place is huge. Look at it. I mean, come on. There is a crazy big old fountain, a carport, and look at this place is amazing. But I am so excited to introduce y'all to my parents. They are so, so nice. And I hope you like them as much as I do. Hello, mom, dad, I'm home. I mean, I live here now, so I, I can just go in, right? Hey, mom, dad, Mr. Wincrest, Mrs. Wincrest, hello. It's me, your daughter, I'm home, hello. Daughter, not right now. Adults are talking, is everything okay? Go play somewhere. This doesn't seem good. My, my parents seem kind of aggravated and they want me to leave. Okay, I, I guess I can go like in the backyard or something. She says, everything is all right. We're just busy talking. All right, I'll leave you guys to it because it, it might be something really important that maybe me as a little kid can't hear. Yeah, <gasps> shoot, go away. Oh, okay, I'll be outside. Just, you know, hanging by myself. I, I wonder what they're talking talking about. It seems really weird that they just kind of like shooed me away, but that's fine. They're just having an adult talk right now. But you know what? I'm gonna make the best of it because look at this backyard. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. Maybe I could pretend I'm camping or ooh, maybe I'll play like cruise ship because this place looks like a bougie, bougie boat or something. I don't know. Wait, what are they saying? Why did you bother getting her? <gasps> It was a deal? Oh, I can't believe this. I'll handle her later? Guys, um, do you think they're talking about me? No, 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 that can't be. That doesn't make any sense. They're my mom and dad. They're supposed to love me and not talk badly about me. He says, I doubt it, but I suppose you can do something. This is weird, guys. I, I don't know what's going on, but my parents are not acting normal. They didn't seem happy to see me, and now they're talking about me in the chat and saying that I was a deal? Uh, I don't really understand. Understand. What is going on here? Oh wait, my mom's yelling at me, Brit. Yes, mom. You got dirt all over you. Yeah, I I'm sorry. I was just jumping around. I, I didn't mean to make a mess, but it kind of happens when you're playing outside sometimes. Go bathe in the sprinklers. <gasps> mom, no, that's weird. I mean, if you're not gonna let me back in the house, I guess I'll go bathe in the sprinklers. Animals are dirty like that. <gasps> Guys, is my mom calling? me an animal? You can sleep outside? Whoa, why is she being so mean? But mom, no. Please, why can't I clean up inside? She literally is like kicking me out of the house because I got a little speck of dirt on me. I don't want to hear it. Clean up and don't come back inside till you're sparkle clean. Fine. Uh, 
I guess I'll do my best. I didn't think she would get this mad at just a little bit of dirt, but I don't know. Uh, also, no dinner for you tonight? No! Oh my gosh! But seriously? You can eat outside if you don't like it? <gasps> Guys, my mom is being like next level rude. I don't really understand. Fine, I'll just eat some bugs or, or something. Who would have thought that my mom would adopt me and make me like live out in the backyard? I mean, I might as well make the best of it, right? I'll sit here and I'll, I'll look at the stars. Yeah, uh, that sounds fun. I'm just still sitting out here, you know, hoping and praying that maybe my mom can let me back in the house at some point. I mean, it would be nice. Uh, I keep hearing all these scary noises and what if there are monsters out here or coyotes or wolves? I could be eaten alive here, people, and that is not good. And you know what else is not good? I noticed that some of you are not subscribed to my channel, so you gotta make sure you do that right this second. Turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything I post and leave a like on the video. Cause uh, I need some help here, people. I, I need to make sure I can live out here in the wilderness all by myself. Oh wait, my mom said, oh, you're still out here? Yeah, just hanging by myself. You know, because you, you kicked me out and you didn't let me come in. Did I see that you're cleaner? Yeah, I took a bath in the pool. Please don't be mad. I had to do my best to try to clean because there's no shower outside. I said, well, I gave some thought and I've decided to let you back in. Yay! Oh my gosh. <gasps> Thank you, mom. But, uh-oh, uh-oh. said, you must behave. Oh my gosh, yes. I promise, mom. I promise to never run around outside and make a mess again. I said, do anything to make me upset and it'll be the streets for you? That sounds awful. I don't want to get kicked out on the street and be homeless. I promise to behave. I'm so sorry I upset you earlier. I really, really didn't mean it. I'm a kid after all, so I'm learning, all right? <laughs> Said whatever, just come inside, child. Okay, after you, mom, I will follow you. Do, do, do. What can I do, mom? Can I watch some TV? Said, well, I suppose I can show you to your room. <gasps> yes, 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 please, please, please. I have been dying to see my new bedroom. I am so excited. I bet it's gonna be so pretty and nice and decorated perfectly like the rest of this house. I'm so excited, mom. Open the door, open the door, open the door, please. Come on, I am ready to see my room. Oh, um, here we go. It's kind of dark and empty. I mean, I don't see anything in here. Uh, this is kind of weird. What am I supposed to do? You can pick a corner and sleep there for the night? <gasps> that is not really nice. I just have to sleep on the floor in a corner. What is that? That is not okay. So this is the perfect base for you to work? Work? Um, I'm confused here. What do you mean? I'll tell you later, but you need to fill up your own room with stuff. The only way to do that is to get a co-owner. So I'll ask her, can I get co-owner? That, that's the only way I can get stuff in here, right? Oh, uh, that's kind of iffy. Mom, I mean, you want me to do this all on my own? And that's the only way to do it. I promise not to spend too much money. Actually, just go ask your father. Father. All right, hopefully he'll say yes. Um, where is he, by the way? <laughs> Let me ask, where is dad? He's playing the piano. You have two legs, go find him. Yikes, uh, okay, mom, sounds good. If I was a piano in a big old fancy house, where would I be? Oh, oh, right over there, perfect. <laughs> um, hi, dad, sorry to interrupt. Are you busy? So what do you want, child? I'm practicing. Um, mom wanted me to ask if I can get co-owner. I need to decorate my house. Uh, not my house, just my bedroom. But you know what I mean, dad, right? Said, oh, fine, if you leave me alone, I'll give you co-owner. Yay, okay, uh, sounds good. I'll leave you to it, dad. Um, But uh, I'll run over here so that way he can give me co-owner and uh, I, I can start building my room, I guess. That took some time, but I am done building my little room. I know it's not much, but uh, I didn't want to go too crazy. Okay, so I have a cute little bed over here perfect for sleeping i am excited and i got a little bookshelf with all my toys and you know some books because it is a bookshelf after all people and i had a little surprise 
my parents were acting kind of weird. So I decided just to put in some security cameras because I need to see what they're up to. They're being kind of shady. So actually, let's take a look on the computer and see what they're up to now. She isn't ready. Guys, I think they're talking about me. I feel kind of bad spying, but these parents of mine are acting a little strange and I just gotta see what's going on. But please, I know she is. We toughened her up. Um, what? What are they talking about? Not enough. If we're gonna go with the plan, we need to cooperate. Wait, what? What plan? I know, I just feel bad sometimes. You can't be weak. We need to bring her in when she's ready. <gasps> so we can get more of the money? Oh my gosh, my parents I think are scammers. Maybe that's how they can afford this massive house. I don't know if I want to watch anymore. I thought they were good people and I don't know if they are anymore. Uh oh, my mom says, all right, I'll go check on her. I'll come along. Yikes! Oh, this isn't good. Um, uh, guys, I gotta get off my computer. Um, oh, I can't believe it. Oh, no, 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 no. I I'm gonna just shut my door real quick, up uh, and get into position. Pretend I'm just being, you know, a normal kid, and I'm, I'm gonna read a book, and la, 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 minding my own business, and <gasps> there they are. Hello there, child. Hi, Dad. Um, what's going on? Hey, daughter, what you doing there? Oh, you know, uh, just doing some reading. The reading, also your room looks livable. <gasps> hey, I think my room looks nice. Guys, comment down below. You like this room, right? It's not too bad. Sure, it's not my best work, but I was stressed here. What are you guys up to? Did you want to talk to me or something? I mean, why are you both in my room? We came here to talk to you about something? Guys, I have to act surprised as if I don't know that they were talking about me before, okay? What is going on? Okay, the reason why we adopted you? Yeah, oh, what is it? Well, we need more money and we need your help. <gasps> Do you think that they want me to scam with them? Wait, how can I help? So we've used certain tricks to get more money? Like scamming, I knew it, I had a feeling. Oh no, 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 but I gotta play along. Really? Like what? We'll talk more over dinner, but we just wanted to let you know. Sounds good to me. I mean, it doesn't sound good to me, but I gotta play along here, people. Hope you join us. Wouldn't like if you didn't. <gasps> I hope they're talking about dinner and not the scam. I'll see you in a bit. Guys, I don't know what's going on here, but I am really, really nervous. What do you think the plan is that they want me in on? I gotta expose them. My adopted parents are scammers. This is awful. Okay, I think it's time to join my parents for dinner and I've been thinking maybe I can just have them admit that they're scammers and that'll be enough proof, right? Maybe this will work or maybe it won't, but it's worth a shot. I'm really anxious about this. They seem like next level criminals, but maybe I can just get them to confess. Hi mom and dad, what's for dinner? I mean, technically it, it should be breakfast because it's 6 a.m., but hey, you know, I I'm just a part of your life. We're going along with the flow here, people. This is a meeting, not a dinner. A meeting to talk about your future? Oh, okay, how can I be the best kid ever? You wanna go first? Sure. Mom, uh, what do you have to say? Basically, daughter, we're in a certain business. A business that most folks aren't a fan of. Oh, really? Like what? Maybe they're in a, I don't know, the homework business and they make teachers assign homework. Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, no. Brittany, come on. You know they're scammers. So why are you even being freaked out? You know what's happening here. We just have to expose it. We show people a new car or tell them about a new car, but it isn't real. <gasps> so they give us their money. They're really admitting it though. This is crazy. And then we leave them in the dirt. <gasps> Oh my goodness, this is crazy. So you're like real life scammers? Let's see, are they gonna admit it? They seem awfully proud of what they're doing. More like taking an opportunity of the situation? Uh, no, 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 no. This sounds like a scam to me. But my dad's agreeing. He's saying, yes, we are scammers. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Your mother's sugarcoating it? Well, yeah, she does kind of seem like the nicer one out of the two of you, but I 
I'm like shocked, guys. They are truly admitting that they're scammers right now. Join us and we'll make so much money. Join or else? You know what? Mm -mm. Guys, I think I've had enough here. I can't believe it. They truly admitted to scamming. No, I don't think I can. I can't scam people. That's awful. I just don't think I can be a part of this evil plan. Then you leave us with no other choice? What is it? They're saying you know too much? We must lock you up for good? Oh, oh no. Oh, no, no. This is not happening. Guys, I am out of here. I can't believe it. My adopted parents are scammers. I gotta go tell Officer Rufus or at least get out of here before they catch me. Oh no. Wish me luck. This is insane. Oh no, mom, I I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to crash the car. My car? I cannot believe it. Mom, I I'm, I'm so sorry, but I I'm still trying to learn how to drive and apparently I'm not very good at it. Oh no. You crashed my precious car? Oh, I cannot stand you. How could you do this? Mom, it was a total accident. I'm so sorry. Maybe I'll, I'll get a job and, and work to pay it off or something. No. Nothing you can do will make this better. But said I was sorry. Sorry won't save you. I can't stand you. You're the worst child in the whole world. You're such a disappointment. I hate you. But mom, please, uh, j just forgive me. Um, uh, we, we can fix it with, with like a, a band-aid or, or some scotch tape or something, uh, I bet. I just can't stand looking at you. Find your own way home. I'm leaving. I'm out of here, you awful child! Wait, Mom? No! Oh, come back! No, you can't just leave me here! What am I supposed to do? Car on fire and I'm not an adult? What, what, what happens in these situations? Hey, are you okay? Oh my gosh, no. I'm sorry, I'm not okay at all. I just crashed my mom's car and now she's super mad at me. Yikes, yeah, I saw what happened. How could she just leave you? Accidents happen. I don't know, my mom hates me. She always has, everyone hates me. So I'm kind of just used to her getting mad at me. Yikes! Okay, well, you know what? Here. Wait, what's all that money for? That's a whole lot of money. I'm super rich. I want to help you out. You should probably get your own apartment. Your mom is pretty awful. You don't need to live with your mom anymore, especially if she treats you that way. But I, I can't accept this. This is a lot of money. Are you sure? Please do. I have loads of it, so it's no big deal. Wow, I, I, I can't believe it. This is a ton of money. Uh, thank you so much. Now my whole life is about to change. I'm rich. Of course. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've changed my life. Oh, I can't wait to go home and get out of here. Hey, Mom. What? took you so long? Oh, you know, I just had to like walk home all the way from downtown. It's a long walk and I'm so tired. I'm ready for bed. Nope, no bed. You're supposed to be doing chores. There's no time for bed. Chores? Mom, are you serious? No, I'm not doing chores. I do them all the time and I just, I don't want to do them anymore, okay? Too bad, so sad. I don't care. Now get to it, Missy. Clean up. It's your job. On second thought, nah, I don't think so, Mom. I don't really feel like it. And honestly, I'm I'm just not going to do them anymore. So you might want to look into hiring a housekeeping or, I don't know, maybe doing them yourself for one. Are you talking back? <gasps> oh, I cannot believe it. You're talking back. <laughs> Have you forgotten who I am? You're my mean mom. That's who you are. And look, I I've wanted to say this for a really long time, but I'm sick and tired of you treating me so poorly. And it, it changes today, lady, okay? Nothing is changing. I make the rules of this house. And as long as you are under my roof, you do what I say. Do you get that? Yeah, about that. Um, That's also gonna change, mom. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, you see, after you were screaming and yelling at me for that total accident that I caused, some super nice lady gave me some money. And look, now I'm rich. See, I have tons and tons of money. Huh? What? But, but how? Look, I don't have to answer to you anymore. I have a ton of money and I'm gonna live on my own and do my own thing. So thanks for all you've done, but I'm good on my own now. But my darling daughter, no, please don't leave. 
sorry, Mom. I, I, I came home to pack my things, and I'm out of here. I don't want to live under your roof anymore. Look, I, I'm so sorry. I was so mean. I, I was just kidding, Brittany. <laughs> can't you take a joke? You're my daughter. My newly rich daughter, and you can't be out there on your own. Whatever, Mom. Have a good life. I'm out of here. I'm going to go buy myself a fancy old house with all this money. Hoo -hoo. And who needs my things upstairs? I can buy new ones. I'm rich! Oh man, I'm not gonna lie. It has been a lot of fun with all this money. I mean, look, I have this brand new fancy solid gold golf cart, which I didn't even think they made them like that, but they do, and I have one. I, I, I love it, but look, I also bought this brand new mansion. It's so cool. I invited Sophie over to come check it out, so hopefully she should be here any minute. All right, all right. I'm ready to chop. Whoa, 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 Sophie, Sophie, hey, uh, calm down. Put away the ax, we don't need it today. Wait, so why am I here then? You don't need me to chop, then I can get a walk in. No, Sophie, I'm here because look, I just bought this house, how cool is that? You bought this house? Seriously, Britt, with what money? How could I have forgotten to tell you? All right, so this really, really nice lady saw how awful my mom was treating me, so she gave me like two billion dollars. And well, what else do you do with money? You buy things. So I bought this house. Wow! Oh my goodness, Brent, this is so cool. You want to check out inside? Yes, duh, of course. Okay, girl, follow me. Come on in, girl. This is where we'll be chilling. I got a couch for me and a couch for you. It's so nice. I can't wait to hang out here all the time. I know, me too. It's gonna be so much fun having you over. And there is no mean mom to tell me when you have to leave and when to do chores. This is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna be living my very best life. Yes, wow, I am here for it. Go girl, you go girl. Okay, okay, I'm not quite done with the tour. There's a lot more to see, like this hot tub over here. Did you see? I mean, I have a hot tub in the floor. Who has that? Oh my gosh. <gasps> How cool. And then over here is my kitchen and, <gasps> wait a minute, mom? <laughs> uh, do you have a maid or something? No, Sophie, it's my mom crying. Mom, is everything okay? Oh, Brett, <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're sorry, A about what? I'm sorry for everything, how I treated you. I screamed at you, called you disgusting and a disappointment. I've been the worst mom ever. Well, mom, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you've treated me so poorly my whole life. You've always hated me. So why do you care now all of a sudden? Yeah, lady, what's your deal? I just, <laughs> I realized how horrible I've been. I just want your forgiveness. Please, daughter, you're all that I have. <laughs> hmm, I don't trust this, Brit. Sophie, it's my mom. She's sobbing. Um, there, there. It's okay, mom. I forgive you. Really? Great! I mean, thank you so much, Brittany. Thank you for giving me a second chance. Sophie, I'm so glad that you came over, but I don't know, I, I just can't stop thinking about my mom. The whole situation just seems a little strange. I mean, I've literally never seen that woman cry before. Yeah, Britt, I hate to say it, but I really don't think you should trust her. I, I don't know, she's my mom, Sophie. Uh, it's really hard to turn your back on family members. Britt, I feel like she's trying to trick you. You really shouldn't trust her. I mean, why does she care all of a sudden out of the blue? I don't know. She said she was sorry, and you know me. I'm a sucker for an apology. Felt like she meant it, so I don't know. But whatever, let's get our mind off of it and go inside. I am starved for pizza. Brett, just be careful, okay? And sure, yeah, I'm ready for some za. All right, girl, let's get going. So ready for this. Hmm, so if I don't know what, like, oh! Ew, watch where you're going. Excuse me? Lady, you bumped into us. Yeah, ma'am, you literally just like 
bumped into my best friend. She clearly was standing here. We were admiring the beautiful pizza for sale. What would you say? I could buy this place, you know, the entire place. Us watch it? You watch it, lady. Your weird accent. Look, I could buy this whole town if I wanted to. So don't you dare mess with me. You got that. Look, I don't know who you think you are, but you can't be rude to people just because you have money. Lady, get over here. Sophie, Sophie, no, 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 no. Hey, wait just a second. I recognize you. Me? Oh, are you subscribed to my channel? Brittany Plays? Because you should be. And also, you guys should make sure you're subscribed too. Ew. YouTube, isn't that a free thing? I'm not into that. I saw you on the news for becoming rich. Wait, I, I made the news? Seriously? Oh, wow, I, I had no idea. But don't look so happy about it. You didn't earn that money. You got that? You aren't a real rich person, you smelly loser. Once a pawsy, always a pawsy. Oh, I'm gonna get her, Brit, if she says one more mean thing about my best friend. Now get out of my face. My limo's waiting. You get out of here, you ugly lady. Not gonna lie. Thought at least the rich people would be nice to me now that I have money too. Now everyone just hates me again. Because things don't really change, do they? You know, it is always so much fun. Whenever I'm hanging out with Sophie, she is always so good at getting my mind off of things, especially this whole thing with my mom. And wait a minute, hold on. Um, what's this van doing outside of my house? I don't remember like calling a plumber or anything. Huh, this is really strange. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should just go inside and check it out and just see what's going on. Maybe someone's throwing me a surprise welcome home party. Oh, that would be amazing. I love a good party, don't you? Hold on. Okay, weird. I, I don't see any balloons. I, I guess there's no surprise party. Man, guys, my whole life all... <gasps> what? Um, excuse me. Who are you? Hmm, why does she keep all her money in the fridge? I excuse me? Uh-oh. Uh um, what are you doing? Uh, gotta go. No, no, stop. Hey, no, no, get back here. Uh, that's all my money. No, 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 ma'am, no, slow down. Hey, stop, stop, get back here. You can't rob me. <gasps> I can't believe this, I've been robbed. I gotta get in the golf cart and chase this criminal down. Who do they think they are? They can't just break into my house and steal all of my money. No, I, I need that. Hurry up, golf cart, go faster. Oh my goodness, no, no. Uh, uh, they're getting away! Go faster! Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, I just run out of gas in this stupid thing? Oh, man! What am I supposed to do? They literally stole every last dime of mine. I, I, I don't know what to do. Am I gonna have to live on the streets now? It's such a nightmare. Sophie, 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 Sophie. Oh my gosh, you won't believe it. The worst thing in the entire universe just happened to me. I'm so upset. Huh? What happened? Britt, have you been crying? Yes, this person just broke into my house and stole all of my money. Oh my gosh, <gasps> I can't believe it. Girl, I know, I, I, I just don't know what to do anymore. Oh, I'm gonna go get them. Who was it, who was it? I'll find them, I'll find them. I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna get them. Oh, just you wait, just you wait. No, 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 Sophie, Sophie, hey, hey, take a deep breath. We need to come up with a good plan here. We can't just go all crazy and run after them with axes. Fine. Oh, even though it's way more fun that way. I hear poor people. Oh, <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Look, you're gross and poor. Man, not this lady again. You, you mean rich lady. What do you want? Can't you see we're going through something here? Get lost, you fancy smancy lady. Oh, I just wanted to see you being poor. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, this is really suspicious. How do you know I'm poor? Oh, I got a tweet. <laughs> a tweet? Is it from that Rich People Only magazine? News really travels fast when you have a lot of money. Rich People Twitter is the best. <laughs> well, I can't believe it. So mean that you just wanted to come here and make fun of me. What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm gonna lose it, Brett. I'm gonna lose it. Look, you deserve it. 
You fake witch person. Wait, are you seriously saying I deserve to get robbed? That's so mean. You know what? Get out of here. I I'm going through enough right now, and I don't need you making fun of me, lady. You heard the girl. Get out. All right, I have a fancy dinner to go to anyway. See you, poor dummies. <laughs> I'm going to be counting all my millions. Sophie, that woman right there is the perfect example of money does not buy you class and it does not buy you character. Ugh, I know! But anyway, back to the plan, girl. Um, what do we do? We gotta figure it out. Hmm, maybe start looking for clues? Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was awfully suspicious of that fancy rich lady to know I was poor. I mean, I doubt someone tweeted about me losing my money that fast. Like, I'm not the only rich person, you know? Hmm, yeah. I'm starting to think that that stuffy old lady had something to do with it. I think you're right. But how do we prove it? I don't know. She's evil. Wait a minute. Sophie! Over there! At, at the cleaners! Oh my gosh! Uh, that's the woman that robbed me! Let's not chase her down just yet. Let's follow her. Maybe she'll lead us to some clues or something. You can even bring your axe. Yeah, good idea. But you know, if she does anything, she's getting chopped. I, I, I know, Sophie. I know. Come on, let's go. Okay, Soph. So it looks like she went in that creepy house over there. Okay, okay. Can I go in now and give her the chop? Come on, come on, come on. I've been good all day. Okay, maybe you can give her a chop, but we gotta go in there, right? <sighs> Fine, I'll hold off for now. Okay, let's go see just what this lady is up to, other than being awful and stealing all of my money. <sighs> Come on, girl, we gotta run. Man, oh man, oh man, okay, I'm always nervous about this. You! Huh? Uh, what are you two doing here? You stay right there, thief. You stay still. We have some questions for you. Yeah, don't you move, criminal! Uh, why should I answer you? Because you robbed me, lady, and you need to tell me why. And give me my money back, most importantly, I need it. Yeah, because if you don't, <laughs> you'll have to say hello to my little friend here. Ah! Whoa, okay, okay, Just don't hurt me. All right, well, where's my money? Hand it over. You took it, and I want it back. And don't you dare lie to her. This girl's my best. Friend, hand over the cash! Look, it, it's not here, I, I promise. Oh, come on, you think I'm gonna fall for that? You stole it. I, I saw you, I, I yelled at you, I know you have it. I said no lying, lady. Listen, I was paid to steal it, okay? You were paid to steal my money? But that, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Welcome to being a criminal. Not much really makes sense. Well, if you weren't the one who took my money, who paid you to do it? Uh, uh, look, I don't know their name, but I know it was an older woman. She looked rich. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it was the evil rich lady Brit. Well, you know what this means, Sophie. We gotta go talk to her. So we gotta find that mansion she lives in. All right, Sophie, let's go confront that lady. Hoo-hoo, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so going to her mansion was a total bust. But I'm so glad that I remembered all fancy rich people shop at Rockstar on Fridays. And girl, it's Friday, so you know she's in there. I, I think I see her big fancy hair from here. Please, oh, can I go in? Please, please, please. I am so angry right now. Brent, why aren't you angrier? This is your money, you know. Trust me, girl, I am so mad. This money was supposed to fix my entire life, but it made things worse. Well, I know she'll be out any minute. I mean, how long can rich people shop for? Two hours later. Girl, it's been forever. You said she was gonna come out. Well, she's bound to, right? I mean, the store is gonna close. <gasps> Phew, another hard day at work shopping, spending all my money, huh? You, we need to talk to you, lady. Yeah, hey, evil lady. About what? Look, I don't talk to poor people, so I don't really know what you have to say to me. Look, I know you stole my money, so give it back. <laughs> Steal your money? <laughs> oh, no, darling. I would never do that. Don't lie. Start talking. Look, why would I steal what I already have? You're, you're lying, right? Sophie... 
She's she's got to be lying. I don't lie. The thief said it was an older lady with money, and that's you. Older lady? I am not old. Are you sure? You look it. How dare you call me old? But you mentioned an older lady, right? I mean, you understand I'm not the only person with money here. What do you mean? Well, there was a new actual older lady that joined the rich club today. Well, spill it. Who was it? Yeah, who? You better talk. Look, I don't know their real name, but they signed their name as Brit's mom. Wait, what? Brit, Brit, no, 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 no. That would be your mom. I don't know what to say. My mom, she's in on it. Poor people are always surprised at everything. Oh, it's really pathetic. Lady, leave before I change my mind about chopping you up. Sophie, enough with this rich lady. We gotta go find my mom. I can't believe it. She's been in on it the whole time. So my mom is inside. So how about you stay here and I'll give you the signal, but I'm gonna run in. No, let me at her, let me at her, wait, what? Oh, Brad, I can't come in. No, not just yet, Sophie. I'm gonna confront her on my own, but when I call your name, you better be ready. Fine, you got this though, girl. Don't back down. This is gonna be hard, but here goes nothing. Mom! <laughs> I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. Excuse me, mom! <gasps> oh, oh, <laughs> it's you. I forgave you, and, and this is how you repay me? By stealing all of my money? Oh, well, well, well. All you do is cry. I'm so sick of hearing it. Don't you feel bad at all? You stole from your own daughter. Feel bad? <laughs> I'm rich. Rich people don't feel bad, and I can do anything now. Anything I want. <laughs> no, you're not going to get away with this, Mom. I don't care what you say. Get Lost loser. Well, you know what, Mom? Oh, Sophie. Sophie, there's something you'd like to say to my mother here. Give her the money now, lady. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I'm out of here. Yeah, now get over here. Oh, I'm gonna chase her. I'm gonna chase her. <laughs> I am so alone. My parents abandoned me. They said they were too poor to take care of me, and now here I am on the mean, cold streets of Brookhaven all alone. But you know what? I'll be okay. Maybe, I don't know, I could find like a family to adopt me, or I could just go live at the orphanage. I don't know. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Hello there. Uh, how can I help you? You guys look awfully fancy. I mean, look at that woman. She's got a dog in a purse. I love it. What are you doing out here this late? Well, you see, um, my mom and dad, uh, they abandoned me. They said that I was going to be too expensive for them to take care of. So they kicked me out of my house and I'm just stuck here all alone. I don't believe it. I know it is kind of awful that my parents just like kicked me out, but it, it's okay. I'll be fine. <laughs> I know how to help. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we keep her? Talking about me? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, of course, we'll gladly take care of you. I cannot believe my eyes or my ears. Uh, boom, this is insane. Would you like a nice home with us? Would I? That would be so cool. Please, I mean, it would be so much better than living out on the street or in that scary, scary Brookhaven orphanage that they have. Perfect, someone we can spend all our money on. Okay. What exactly do you mean by that? Oh, silly girl. You don't know who we are? No, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't. I'm just a kid and I don't really watch the news all that much. We are billionaires. <laughs> billionaires? Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, I, I'm trying not to freak out right now. But am I being adopted by billionaires? Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Now I'm super excited to join their family. This is awesome. Oh man, I'm just so bored and lonely. I feel like I've been sitting here for hours. I've just been watching 
all these Shane Plays 2 videos. <laughs> Guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure you go check out that channel. You get to see super cool stories about me, Officer Rufus, and Shane. But regardless, even though these stories are awesome and I love this channel, I just really wish my mom and dad were around to hang out with me. They're always gone and I feel like I just, I don't even know them and all I want is to spend time with them. I thought being adopted by a billionaire family would be a little bit more fun. I thought my parents would be around to take care of me, but they're not. They just leave me with my mean babysitter all the time. Maybe she'll want to hang out or, or something? Well, let me go find her. Miss Oh, uh, hi, Miss Jennifer. How are you? Um, why are you crying? I miss my mom and dad, Miss Jennifer. When are they coming home? Why would they want to come back here? Uh, their adopted daughter is here and uh, I need parents to take care of me. I mean, when are they coming home? Please, please tell me it soon. If I was them, I would be gone even longer. Why? I mean, don't you think they should be home like taking care of their child? They're billionaires. Why would they want you? They adopted me and they, they wanted me because I was poor and alone and sad, so like, I don't know, shouldn't that be a good enough reason? You're being such a brat. They left you tons of money. Yeah, so what? Money doesn't solve all my sadness. It just makes me feel even worse. Well, what else could you want? Maybe my mom and dad. You just don't get it, Miss Jennifer. You don't get it at all. You're the worst babysitter ever. I just want my family. <laughs> When will my mom and dad come home? <laughs> I don't want to hang out with this mean babysitter anymore. <laughs> I am having the most fun now that I get to go to school all the time. Sure, my parents are still always off on business trips and vacations, but at least I have my school friends to hang out with, right? I mean, I love going to school. I love learning. I love meeting all new people and doing like projects, especially art class. Guys, comment down below. What is your favorite class in school? I live for art class. I'm gonna go meet my friend Rachel upstairs because I told her I would meet her after lunch. And it's after lunch. Oh gosh, I don't want to be late. I don't want to lose my new friend. She's so awesome. Hey, Rachel, what's going on, girlfriend? Hi, Britt. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing well. How are you? How's your day going so far at school? I'm doing great. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> How was your lunch? I had the best ham and cheese sandwich to ever exist. What did you eat? Um, actually, can I borrow some money for lunch? Yeah, did your mom forget to give you some? Uh, of course, uh, I don't mind at all. Here, here you go. Now, I think class will start any minute now, so you should probably go run off and buy something. Thanks. Yeah, of course, girl, <laughs> anytime. And uh, you can pay me back later. Of course. Well, maybe we can hang out after, oh, oh uh, okay. I'll, I'll catch you later. <laughs> oh, but before I go into class, I should probably wash my hands. Grant is clueless. Wait a minute. Did I just walk in on Rachel talking about me? Oh my gosh. Black, she gave me money for lunch. Uh, I, I thought I was doing a nice thing. Ugh, I want some too now. She is so lame. Is Rachel really not my real friend? Is she just using me for money? <gasps> I'm only using her for her money. Oh my gosh, she's not even my real friend? That's awful. I hate this. Does anyone really like me? Or are people just using me because I was adopted by billionaires? <laughs> I just want someone to really care about me. Oh, um, hey there, sorry. I, I, I didn't notice you through my tears. Hi, girly, are you okay? Honestly, no, I'm not okay. I've actually just found out my best friend was using me for my money. She thinks I'm actually lame, but I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to unload all of my problems on you. Well, you're fine. Who was using you? Rachel, I can't believe it. We've been friends for like a few months and I thought she was a better person than that, but apparently not. Anyway, I'm sorry. I don't think I caught your name. My name's Brittany. What's yours? I'm Lucy. Well, it's so nice to officially
actually meet you, Lucy. And again, I I'm so sorry for just, you know, being over here crying. I just, I can't believe that someone would use me just because I have money. It's okay, girl. I'll be here for you. You will? I mean, I, I don't want to be like too forward or anything, but do you want to be my friend? Of course. And I won't ask for money. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Well, Lucy, I'm so excited. <laughs> now, do you want to go back to my house and like watch some TV or something? Oh my gosh, yes. What do you like to watch? Oh girl, I watch everything on TV, but especially Unica. That is my favorite show in the whole world. Let's go. Okay, uh, follow me. I think my driver is here anyway, so they can take us home. <laughs> Lucy, I'm so excited we decided to go to college together and get this super awesome house. I mean, we really worked our butts off for the past few years to afford this. And look, I'm so proud of us. We're living our best life. This place is super cool, right? I love it. I mean, sure, we just moved in, so it'll take some time to decorate, but I think we have some good bones here. I'm super proud of us. Yeah, me too, girl. <laughs> and I'm also just so lucky that we've stayed friends over the years and we're in college together. I mean, could a girl want anything else to beat college roomies with her bestie? I don't think so. And I never asked for money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> oh, it's the doorbell. Oh my gosh, Lucy, I'm so excited. I think it's my mom. She said that she was coming to visit earlier today. Oh, welcome, mom. Ugh, this is your place. Yeah, you know, the one I told you that Lucy and I were super excited to buy? I mean, we worked super hard for it. Don't you think it's so cool? I love it. Now, this is the first floor and then go upstairs. This is our room. So we were able to split it. So I get to sleep over there and Lucy gets to sleep over here. Isn't this so awesome? You could do so much better. Wait, what? Mom, I thought you'd be proud of our new home. This place is ugly. What? Mom, are you for real? This house is really nice. And Lucy and I worked super hard saving our money. I could have given you money for a better house. But mom, I don't want to be given things in life. I work for what I want. Thanks for the offer, but I really like our house. I think it's cute. Well, I don't care. Well, you know what, mom? I honestly don't care. And I think it's kind of rude that you would come into my house and say that it's ugly. We will buy you a new one. But mom, honestly, I think it's time you left because you're not welcome here. I don't want any negativity in this house and clearly you're being negative. Fine, I'll go then. Yeah, it was nice seeing you, mom. You're being a brat. Well, you're being rude, mom. Sorry, Lucy, I genuinely don't know why my mom was acting that way. But whatever, let's go to Home Goods and buy some new decorations for our place. Let's ride. It seems like forever since I've last seen my parents. They were just on this crazy trip all throughout Europe. And then they ended up going and hanging out at the Great Pyramids in Egypt. Super, super cool. But I've missed them. So I decided to come over and give them a little surprise for dinner. I can't wait to see them. I hope they have some cool travel stories. Mom, dad, hello? Hey, mom and dad, I'm home. What's going on? Hi, darling. We just finished our dinner. Oh, uh, great. What did you guys have? We made steak. Can't go wrong with a good steak. Mm-hmm, that is one of my favorite meals. Well, guys, I'm so glad that you're back safe from your trip. How was it? It was fantastic. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad to hear. Well, I really missed you guys. We've missed you so much. We are so proud of you. Thanks, Mom and Dad. That's really sweet. You worked so hard. I'm so glad to have paid for your school. Yeah, again, I really appreciate that. But hey, Mom and Dad, can I be honest with you for a second? Everything okay? I really appreciate all the things you've done for me and all the things you've paid for. You know, it's been really, really great, but honestly, it's not about the money. My whole life, all I've wanted was just to be around you guys. And 
You know, I just wish you were there for me more emotionally. What? But we gave you so much. Dad, you really did. But all I wanted was just two parents to spend time with me and love me. Sure, we did some amazing vacations and things like that, but it's not about all the money. It's just about being with you. Oh dear, we're so sorry. It's okay. I mean, <laughs> at least now I get to be honest with you, right? Yes, let's all be honest with each other from now on. Sounds good to me. Well, I love you, Mom and Dad. You're the best parents ever. And I'll always be grateful that you adopted me that day. I cannot thank you enough. Great. Of course. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you later. I'm gonna go hang out with my mom and dad. <laughs> Have the best day ever, and I'll see you guys soon.